In this video, we're going to learn how to customize a door. You can always decorate a door frame. There are many different ways to do this whilst expressing your creativity. Painting, hanging, wallpaper, attaching mirrors, or even using stencils, stickers, or molds. Today, we are going to attach some pre-molded decorative wooden strips and then paint the door. This will give the door a classic and authentic look. We will use a pre-cut door panel kit, which has been adjusted to the door size. There are many advantages to using this kit. It is inexpensive, and the wooden strip's edges have already been cut. You won't need to use a mitre saw to adjust them. To start, unhinge the door and put it in a flat, stable position. Now unscrew the two screws from the handle and remove it from the door. You can now begin measuring and drawing markers. Referring to the measurements diagram provided in the kit, measure and mark some reference points for each wooden strip. For more precise and practical measurements, it is preferable to use a ruler set. Draw your pencil marks using a ruler or a straight wooden rafter. Once you have marked your points, place the strips on the door to help you visualize how it will end up. Adjust and center them, using the door's center as a point of reference. Be careful to get the edges of each wooden panel strip the right way round. Now we are going to nail in the wooden strips. Use lost head nails to do this. If you can, put them in place using a magnetic nail holder for increased ease and precision. Use two nails per strip. Position them and then drive them in with a hammer. Use a small suitable hammer and don't hesitate to knock them in with the thin side of the hammer so as not to damage the wooden strips. Add a third nail to the center of each wooden strip. Make sure that all your strips are firmly fixed in place. You can now prepare your door for painting. Start by cleaning and dusting the door with a dry cloth. You can now apply the undercoat. Mix the paint so that it is even and homogeneous. Apply the undercoat with a small, long head roller. Paint the undercoat in even strips paying particular attention to the wooden strips. When your undercoat has been applied, leave it to dry for 24 hours. Before painting it, sand the undercoat with an abrasive sponge to break up the grain so as to make the door smooth. The benefit of using an abrasive sponge is that it can access the hard to reach contours of the wooden strips. When your door is perfectly smooth, it's ready to be painted. Paint it with the roller and pay close attention to the wooden strips. Leave it to dry for at least 24 hours. You can then apply a second layer by following the same procedure. When your paint is dry, reattach the handle with the screws and rehinge the door. Your door is finished. 